Welcome to Medicinavio. In this video, we will discuss about Corynebacterium diphtheriae, which is a club-shaped bacilli and it takes up gram stain and measures 3 to 6 micrometers in length. It is also arranged in a Chinese letter pattern. It also takes up Albert stain, which is a special kind of stain, and it stains as a green bacilli with bluish black granules. Now we'll discuss about diphtheria toxin, which is coded by a bacteriophage, which manipulates the Corynebacterium's bacterium's genetic material and causes the formation of diphtheria toxin, which has two fragments, fragment B, which binds to the receptor and causes endocytosis of fragment A. And fragment A is the active fragment which inhibits elongation factor 2 and causes inhibition of translation and causes necrosis and death of cell and inflammation results. Now, fascial diphtheria is characterized by mucosal ulcers lined by a tough leathery grayish white pseudomembrane coat composed of fibrin surrounded by neutrophils, RBCs and bacteria. Extension of pseudomembrane can occur in severe cases which may cause the pseudomembrane to extend into the larynx and bronchial airways causing asphyxia due to airway obstruction. There is also a characteristic clinical feature called bull neck appearance in which there is massive tonsillar swelling and neck edema with foul breath, thick speech and strider. Strider are the whistling type of sounds heard during breathing. Cutaneous diphtheria presents as punched out ulcerative lesions with necrosis or sometimes pseudomembrane formation commonly seen on the extremities. Now we will discuss about systemic diphtheria in which there is cranial nerve involvement, peripheral neuropathy, ciliary paralysis in the eye and myocarditis meaning inflammation of the heart muscle. Hoyle's potassium tilroid agar is used to specially grow coriny bacterium which grows as black colonies on it. Now, Ilex gel precipitation test is a special test to demonstrate diphtheria toxin. A filter paper is taken and it is put on a serum agar. The non-toxigenic strain is put perpendicular to it on one side and the toxigenic strain is streaked perpendicular to it on one side. After pre the precipitation band forms on the side of the toxigenic strain, proving the diphtheria toxin production. The biochemical tests are catalase test positive for coriny bacterium, oxidase test is negative and urease test for coriny bacterium diphtheriae is negative but it is positive for coriny bacterium pseudotuberculosis and coriny bacterium ulcerans which helps to differentiate coriny bacterium diphtheria from the other two now let's discuss about the epidemiology of diphtheria coriny bacterium diphtheriae is found in the throat and nasopharynx of carriers and in patients with diphtheria primarily spread by respiratory droplets, asymptomatic carriers, and by direct contact with the patients or fomites. Now we will discuss about the treatment of diphtheria. For treatment purposes, we use antidiphtheritic serum or antitoxin. In mild cases, you give 20,000 to 40,000 units. In moderate cases, 40,000 to 60,000 units. And in severe cases, we give 80,000 to 1 lakh units. Antibiotics like penicillin or erythromycin is a drug of choice. Antibiotics are useful to prevent the further release of toxin and to kill the bacilli in cases of cutaneous diphtheria. For prophylaxis, we give DPT triple vaccine. DPT stands for diphtheria pertussis and tetanus. Total 5 doses are given. 3 doses are given at 6, 10 and 14 weeks of birth followed by 2 booster doses at 16 to 24 
months and then at five years of age. The site of vaccination is primarily the anterolateral aspect of the thigh. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment and press bell icon for further videos. Thank you.